My name is Hazel. I'm director of Tinnitus Hub. We're a patient organization. We're run by Tinnitus patients such as myself. We're all volunteers. And I feel very, very lucky to be here today in Taipei, Taiwan, at the TRI annual conference where there's about 450 tinnitus researchers coming together. I feel very lucky to be here to be able to represent the patient voice as one of the very few, I think maybe I saw one or two other patient representatives, but one of the very few patient representatives at this conference and be able to engage directly with researchers and hopefully take a lot of that knowledge and understanding back to you guys, the patient community. That's why we're here. I think TRI conferences have been going on for 13 or so years and I've heard that in the beginning it was really just a small handful of people. So just the number of researchers interested in tinnitus I think is very, very encouraging. It's also very encouraging to see that they're from many different disciplines. It's really cross-disciplinary. And just, I do get a sense that a lot of them, at least, understand that patients are in dire need of a cure. They understand that patients are suffering and they want, they're doing this because they want to help patients. So, so that's really wonderful to see. So in terms of the program, I have the program here. There's a lot, uh, it's very diverse. I mean, there's sessions on things like comorbidities of tinnitus, epidemiology, the genetics of tinnitus, clinical research methodology, electrophysiology, diagnostics. Um, there's, a, there's a lot going on and, um, and a lot of things that could potentially lead to new treatment methods. From having talked to many different people, there's a few sort of recurring themes that I hear that, you know, things that are needed to really move the research field forward. And one of them is the need for an objective measure of tinnitus. So something, some kind of test or an indication that can tell us, yes, this person has tinnitus or this person has severe tinnitus, besides just the person telling you that they have tinnitus. And with these objective measures, it also would make it much easier to test the effectiveness of any new treatments. So that's something that's needed. And the other thing that a lot of people mentioned that's needed is more insight into the subtypes of tinnitus because most researchers here would agree that there, when we get a cure, it will not be one cure for everyone. So it will be different cures for different types of patients, but finding out exactly what those types are and what distingu distinguishes them from each other, that is really key to moving the research field forward. Hey everyone, so this is day three, the final day of the TRI conference here in Taipei. And I'm outside right now. Uh, the convention center is right here and it's pretty hot and humid and I'm uh, quite exhausted after three days of the conference running around trying to attend as many of the talks as I could but actually I didn't get to um, see many of them because uh, we were doing video interviews with as many researchers and other attendees as possible and we got quite a lot of good ones for you so we hope to be publishing those soon so that all of you out there interested in tinnitus research and what's going on um, can learn more about it. For me, it's been really encouraging to be here and to see so many researchers who are passionate about tinnitus. The general sense I get is that they care about patients and about the suffering of tinnitus patients and they want to help. You know, many of them have said uh, that tinnitus research has really taken off in the past five to ten years but at the time when they made their sort of career choice to focus on tinnitus it, they said it was really not considered like they were actively discouraged from researching that because it's not a very like hip field there's not a lot of funding it doesn't come with a lot of prestige 
So they didn't choose this avenue of research for any of those reasons, but really, you know, out of an intrinsic motivation to to help tinnitus patients. Um, and yeah, that was just really sort of heartwarming to see. And, you know, they all get a chance here to interact. And that's really important to move the field forward. I think in all the individual interviews we did, people stressed how important that cross-disciplinary collaboration is, uh, collaboration across different research fields, but also collaboration with clinicians to get that practical hands-on experience for that to inform the research and interaction with patients. They all stressed the importance of that and that's why we're here. Um, all of the researchers I've spoken to have been really appreciative of Tinnitus Hub being present here um, and uh, giving them the opportunity to convey what they're doing to the broader patient community. And they all really uh, see the value of that public outreach for the public to understand what it is they're doing, that they're really trying hard to get to that cure, but there are no easy answers, right? And we, we should all understand that, um, you know, the scientific endeavor is not a simple one. Tinnitus is a very complex problem. And again, there are no easy solutions and there won't be any one size fits all solutions. There will be different solutions for different patients. That's what everyone kept stressing uh, as well. Uh, so there is a general sense of optimism, but at the same time, you know, with that caution of, we still need quite a bit of time to get there. But hopefully through us doing this, you guys can have more of an understanding of, uh, of what's going on and hopefully it gives you a sense of hope as well. At least that's definitely what I got uh, from being here. Next year, in 2020, uh, the TRI conference will be in Vancouver, Canada. We hope and expect to be there again, although we have to again try to get funding to go there. Um, this year we were really lucky to get some funding from Frontiers to be present here. Uh, but we will do our utmost and I'm confident that we will be able to be there again um, and report on uh, the TRI conference 2020. I think it will be an exciting one, probably even bigger uh, than this this year. Uh, and we hope to maybe also see some of you there. If you're located in or near Vancouver, you're very welcome to join our volunteer team to take part and, and, and help us uh, with our engagement and public outreach activities. So we hope to see as many of you there as possible and we're really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm.